Welcome to KUTV News. I'm Rachel Jarahian. And I'm Marina Monagrova. On February 17th, the Chinese Faculty and Staff Association hosted the annual Spring Festival Party at Downs Hall to ring in the Year of the Ox. Coralia Peralta has the story. Hi, I'm Coralia from KUTV, and I'm here at Kane University's second annual Chinese Lunar New Year's Party, coordinated by Dr. Zhang to help raise awareness of the Chinese culture, as well as raise funds for the newly formed Chinese Association. We organized this party because we have a large Chinese community at King Hammers, and we are far away from the homeland, but we still want to celebrate the traditional holidays because, one, we want to promote the Chinese culture and establish our culture and identity at the campus. And the second, we want to have a good time. And this is a brand new group in the school, and uh, I think about a year ago, we had this organization formed, and uh, the president graduated, and so uh, we're just reactivating it since the, uh, the Vindro group came, came over, and we're just uh, trying to make this organization is provide them some help. It makes them easier on campus. So what was this all about today? Well, uh, s starting from last year, um, the, uh, the, faculty at King the Chinese faculty at King University decided to do a uh, New Year celebration. So uh, we got together and, and uh, started a program. And this is the second time we're doing this. So it's been pretty great. The Chinese New Year's party was an absolute success with storytelling, guest speakers, and live performances. This is Coralia from KUTV. The much-anticipated new dorms are currently under construction. I had the opportunity to speak to some students and administrators. King University is planning to open new residence halls coming up this 2009 fall semester. This is a very anticipated event for all the students already residing on campus and commuting students who are thinking about joining the Kane community. The demand for more dorms shows that many students are hoping to expand their educational experience by becoming residents. As a result of the feasibility study, um, the results really show that the demand was high enough and the need was strong enough that we really should be looking into new construction. And that's really how this project came about. The new dorms will consist of freshman residence halls, which will accommodate approximately 420 students. Also, the new apartment-style upperclassmen residence hall will accommodate about 408 students. I'm really excited about the new addition. I feel like it's a great idea. The buildings are already looking great, um, even though they're not even finished yet. And I feel like it's going to be a, a great way to expand the King community. For more information on the new residence halls or living on campus, you can stop by the Rest Life office located here in front of Whiteman Hall. Or check out www.kane.edu slash restlife. Marina Monagrova reporting for KUTV. Kane University has recently launched a sex education campaign. The university is hoping to raise awareness about safe sex practices among college students. Here is El Usfar with the story. I'm El Usfar reporting from University Center. Today they're having an information station here dedicated to safer sex awareness right behind me where students are able to get education on safer sex as well as free condoms. We're giving individuals, you know, information on HIV prevention, STD prevention. We got the CDC website right here and basically it's talking about sexually transmitted diseases, you know, how to go about preventing STDs or HIV and right here we're giving out free condoms to students because you know safe sex does save lives. I don't want to get an STD because you don't want diseases spreading around. There's a lot of different things going around so it's good to have stations like this because people in some aspects are kind of shy to go and buy condoms and this is a great way to keep safe. I think this is great for the college campus. Um, not only does it help promote safe sex, but it allows kids on campus to be safe. Everybody's having sex, you're going to have sex, just be safe. It is very important to have safe sex education here at college campuses to prevent STDs. For KUTV, I am Alu Sfar. Now, let's take a look at the weather. I'm Rachel Jarahan. And I'm Marina Monagrova. Thank you for watching. See you next time.